how do we do that? Well, I'm so happy that you asked. <laughs> <laughs> doing video tutorials is so weird like I don't know is this natural is this helpful like what am I doing anyways Hi Yokes, my name is Mama Tamago, and for those of you who don't know me, I am a Just Chatting streamer on Twitch, and I am absolutely obsessed with this Twitch bot. In fact, saying I'm obsessed is probably a bit of an understatement. I feel like whenever people think of me now, it's just like, oh yeah, that mix it up gal. Oh yeah, she's like kind of obsessed with this Twitch bot. It's, it's a little bit weird. It is not weird. If you don't know what Mix It Up is, Mix It Up is the only streaming bot you'll ever need because it is so powerful. Free, full featured, community driven, open source. You can use this on all sorts of streaming software. It has a bunch of integrations. It has all of these things that you can do. I will not be going over all of the things, at least in this particular video. I feel like one of the things that a lot of people have trouble with mix it up is that because it is so powerful, when you first download and load the buy, it is overwhelming. And I totally get it, which is why this tutorial is going to be more for the basics of Mix It Up. We are going to go over chat, go over how to add a sound, and go over how to add a video. Once you kind of get how Mix It Up works and how commands are made, I think it'll click in your head and starting to build your own commands will make sense. First thing you need to do is download Mix It Up. So you just click on the installer, you know, do all of the things that it tells you to do. Bada bing, bada boom, you're in. So, this is what it looks like when you first open it up. Yours might be a different color. If you want to switch over the color, go into the upper right hand settings, themes and colors, and then choose what you want to do. One of these days, my name is going to be on the full theme. So now that you've gotten into whatever theme that you want it to be, we are going to connect some services. One of the reasons why Mix It Up is such a powerful bot is because it can do so many things on a bunch of different connections. It can control your OBS, it has Stream Deck integrations, it has Stream Elements, and so many things. So go over to the hamburger menu and scroll all the way down to services and then it'll bring you to services. These are all of the things that you can connect to. For video control, all you have to worry about right now is connecting it to OBS. So just click connect, it'll like a pop-up will happen and then that should be all connected. In order for any of this to work, you need to add a browser source into OBS. So you're going to need a default browser source so that it shows any video and any sound, and then also a green screen browser source. So go over to your setting, go over to overlays, and then you will see a default browser source at the bottom, name something green screen and then add it, and then it'll have a second browser source. Then go over to your OBS, add both of these browser sources in, based on the dimensions of your stream, in my case 1920 by 1080, and make sure you know which one is the green screen one. Then in OBS, right click the green screen one, go into filters, and then add the chroma key filter on it. Now whenever you do a video that is green screen, it will automatically chroma key that out. So the first thing you're probably going to want to do is for you to make a chat command. The reason why Mix It Up is so powerful is that you can do multiple things at once. For example, you can run a chat command, have it set off a sound command and a video command to go off at once if you would like to, or you can tear them up. It depends on what you're trying to accomplish. So to do a chat command, hamburger menu, go into commands. These are all of the different groups of commands that I have. Let's just make a new command. This is the window where you build a new command. Let's do our first simple chat command. If someone does egg in chat, it'll spit out something else. So the name of this, let's name it egg. 
The command group is where you had the different categories. If you want to make a new command group, you can just start typing it. I just did YouTube tutorial. And then this is the chat triggers, meaning whatever people type in chat, that is what's going to set off this command. Be careful here. The chat triggers, you do not need to include an exclamation mark. It is automatically included with this toggle. So my command is going to be over here is the usage requirements. That means who can can use this command. Let's just do Twitch streaming platform and this is the user role. Do you need to be a follower to use the command, a regular subscriber, moderator, or a streamer? I'm just going to do user so anybody can be using this command. You gotta have a cooldown. The cooldown is in seconds. If your chat is like mine, you cannot trust them with anything, so you have to put a cooldown. I wouldn't worry too much about currency because you're going to have to build that out. Rank requirement is like a stream pass thing, also not super important right now. Inventory is another thing that you can do, like if people have a certain amount of inventory items, they are the ones that can trigger this command. Arguments, I don't know what that means. I don't want to argue with someone. At the bottom of the screen, you see something called actions. These are what we're adding into this command for when you run exclamation point egg. We're just going to do a simple chat message action. So you click on chat message, add, and then we want to spit out whenever someone does exclamation point egg, let's have it spit out. Yes, I am an egg. Now, you can connect your services as your bot account or you can send it as a streamer. That's going to be when you first log into the account. Let's just do send as streamer and then let's save it. Now, whenever people do exclamation point egg, you'll have that pop up. Yes, I am an egg. For chat bubbles, I have it set that when it includes an exclamation in the front, you don't see it, but just trust me, I did exclamation point egg. Boom! That is your first chat command. This is super useful if you want to post your socials, if you want to post just a simple command. But as exciting as this one chat command is, it's probably not everything that you want to do. Let's delve in a little deeper into the chat commands. Mix it up has so many things that you can add that really it's up to your imagination of what you want to add. When you go into the chat message, there is something called special identifiers. If you're familiar with other bots, you know that this is kind of the language that they pull for like how many months that they subscribed or if they're a follower or not or what game that they play. Usually it has like a dollar sign and the name. If you click on special identifiers, it's going to take you to the Mix It Up Wikipedia page of the specific special identifier. This is all of the information that you're able to pull. You can pull the date of the time, the hour. You can pull specific user information. If you want to do like a shout out command, for example, you can have it pull shout out username and then the last game that they played. Because it is so much information, it's really useful to do a control find situation of what you're looking for. Let's do a random number generator. Let's say someone does exclamation point egg and then it spits out you are X amount egg. So to do that, our special identifier is dollar sign random number equals, and it says creates a random number from one to whatever number specified at the end, including that number. Example, random number 100 would generate a random number between one to 100. I want to do how many percent egg you are whenever you do exclamation point egg. Instead of yes, I am egg, in order to do that, we'll say username, the person who runs the egg command is random number 100, and it should spit a random number between one to 100. Let's save it. And then now I am going to do the egg command again. There you go. Mama Tamago is 97. 97 what? That made no sense. We got to go back. We got to do random number percentage egg. Let's do that again. Exclamation point egg. Mama Tamago is 69% egg. Nice. <laughs> that is how you build a simple chat command. I would familiarize yourself with the special identifiers page. The control find button will be your life 
saver. Another one that is popular is whenever you ask someone. Let's say you want to see what percentage other people are for an egg. Instead of doing dollar sign username, you would do dollar sign target username. You just copy that over here. So I'm going to do target username and it will pull up that information whenever you add someone. My command, I want to use it whenever I target or add someone. So I'm going to do target username is random percentage egg. Let's save that and let's add someone. Tomago tech support, which is my bot. And now it'll spit out Tomago tech support is 92% egg. All of the arguments will be the same basically of username, but instead of just plain username, it'll say target username. That is how you make a simple chat command. The special identifiers link is super helpful. Anywhere it mix it up, you see a link. It'll take you directly to the corresponding Wikipedia page. Having a chat command is fine and all, but what about sound commands? Let's do one of those. I'm going to toggle off the chat command so that it's not running. And then we do the same as before. We go to the bottom and we add an action. This time, instead of a chat command, the action that we want to do is sound. So we click on sound and then we just add it in here. Now there's a sound. You are able to name your different sounds. So let's just say potato sound. So you're a little bit more organized and you just got to find your sound file path. You find it in your computer, you browse for it. I found my sound file path. You can choose the volume. Mixed up has all these different outputs. I just put it on default and that should just spit out for my headphones and then you can play it to make sure that it works. A potato flew around my room before you came, excuse me. RIP Vine. Now, whenever an exclamation point egg plays, that sound should play. It's a little bit loud for me on my end, so I'm going to just tune it down a little bit and save it. So now let's do exclamation point egg and it should play. A potato flew around my room before you came, excuse me. And that's how you do a sound command. What? Now, the magic of Mix It Up is that you're able to run multiple actions with one command. So before I hit the chat action with a toggle off, I'm going to enable it again and save it. So now when I do exclamation point egg, it should do what percentage egg I am and play the potato sound. A potato flew around my room before you came, excuse me. Now you're able to do so many more things with just that one action. Let's add a video command to it as well. Let's go back to our egg command. I'm going to toggle off the chat and the potato sound. Like with before, we are just going to add an action. The action this time is going to be overlay images and videos. Now, this is going to look a lot more complicated than just a chat or a sound, but I promise it's not that bad. So the overlay action is whatever you want to show on top of the stream. You can add several different types of overlays. So you can do text, image, video, YouTube, web page, HTML, and share widget. We're only interested in a video right now, so we'll do video. The overlay endpoint is important. So we're just going to do a video without a green screen filter. And that will just go into my default overlay act. Go into the video file path. Find the video that you want. I have one right here. And then you can also adjust how big it is. My streaming screen is 1920 by 1080. Let's turn off the volume right now because I'll have something that plays. How long do you want this to go? Let's say six minutes. Over here, you can choose the screen position and there's three different ways to do it. There's the simple way and I want the video to play on the that side of my stream. You can also do a percentage or the pixels. And let's just play to see what it looks like. Perfect. So this is just a video that plays whenever exclamation point egg is played. As you can tell, I didn't do any chroma key on it. This is if you just want a video without any chroma key and this is what will happen. So let's just save it. And now let's do exclamation point egg. And there it works. And because it is that one command, you can also make all three of those actions happen at once. All you got to do is toggle it on and off. 
So I'm going to save it again. And now with the three actions, it should send the chat message of how much egg I am, the potato sound, and the cat video playing at once. So let's do exclamation point egg again. A potato flew around my room before you came, excuse me. Perfect. So now we know that is working. Now, what if you wanted to do a chroma key video? My cat jam video is not a regular video. It is chroma key. How do we do that? Well, I'm so happy that you asked. <laughs> <laughs> doing video tutorials is so weird like I don't know is this natural is this helpful like what am I doing anyways you go into overlay and this is the video command that we have built before notice that we have an option for overlay endpoints and right now the default does not have a chroma key back to your commands. Now that we have our green screen overlay, we want to make sure that the green screen video is going to the right filtered overlay endpoint. And mine is called the overlay source. Yours should be called green screen or something that makes more sense than that. Save that. And when I run my command, the egg should run, the sound should run, and also the correctly green screen video should run. A potato flew around my room before you came, excuse me. There you have it. That is how you do a chat message, a sound message, and also a video message as well, all in one command. There are some things that you probably want to consider to add into your command. When commands run in OBS, once you run it, the command is essentially done. The program doesn't wait for it. the music to be done playing, doesn't wait for the video to be done playing. It's built like that so that you can run multiple things at once. But you probably don't want all of these things to overlap one another. It would cause so much chaos. Or maybe you do want that to happen. I don't know. I don't know your life. In order for this to have a buffer in between different commands, you need to add a wait action. To do so, you are telling Mix It Up to wait before you run the next command. Under Actions, go into Wait, add the action, and you do whatever seconds. My command is 6 seconds, I'm going to put 6. Whenever you run the egg command, the whole thing won't be done until the 6 seconds is done. Then it'll tell Mix It Up, hey, you can run other commands or else it'll start getting jammed together. That is basically how to do a chat, sound, and video command. With this, you are able to do so many different things. You can add a bunch of videos. You can add a bunch of images. It is just like such a powerful tool and I, I get so excited. I get so excited whenever I talk about Mix It Up. It's made my stream so much better. Better. It's made my stream so much more interactive and honestly, I only told you all a, t a teeny tiny bit of all the things that Mix It Up can do. If you found this helpful, be sure to follow along. I have a bunch of bite-sized tutorials on my TikToks. I am slowly making this into a YouTube series, but please bear with me. Making YouTube is just so much more complicated than making a TikTok video. If you found this helpful, I super duper appreciate it if you like and comment below on what else you want me to do videos on, comment below on what other Mix It Up tutorials you're looking forward to and then I'll add it to my list. Uh, yeah, so happy that you all are here. I don't know why, I don't know how to end this tutorial. Um, hope that helped. I'll probably link something somewhere. Uh, yeah, we did it. The first Mixed Up tutorial is done for YouTube. Yay! <laughs>